with Xavier Leggett. Xavier, first of all, just tell us a little bit about how camp's going for you so far. Well, when camp first started, I've been out on the ankle. I had an ankle injury. I've been down for a little minute. I came in, I was limited on reps, but I, it's been going well so far. What have you been able to do the past few months just to stay mentally and physically ready for the, for the season? I've been trying to come back, catch on the drill machine, to stay consistent with catching the ball. Is there anything specifically that you're working on this fall to improve your game? Um, trying to work, trying to have better releases to come off the ball with better pad level. Um, going back to last season, uh, just tell us about making that transition. You were a quarterback in high school, obviously, mm -hmm. and, and then trying to play Division One football at, at the SEC level as a wide receiver, a position you hadn't played before. Just yes, talk about that transition a little bit. Well, it, been a, it, it was a big change. Uh, I played receiver my ninth through 11th grade year, okay. but they moved me to quarterback. But it was it was kind of hard coming in. Cut, playing, at the, playing in the SEC league, it was harder because everybody is good on good, so Got to really work to get over here. What do you think the biggest adjustment for you was just making that transition? Mm, was it the speed of the game? Get, yeah, the speed of the game. It was way faster than high school. It was real fast. Mm -hmm. um, had a chance last year also to, to get in the mix a little bit for kickoff returns. That's something that, that you'd like to continue doing? Oh, How's yes, that sir. Going? Oh, yeah, no doubt. I'm trying to get back down on kickoff return this year. I'm trying to maintain that the rest of the years I'm here. Last year, obviously, you had uh, Coach B. Mack as, as your position coach, and Joe Cox now. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the difference of those guys and how Cox coaches you. Uh, coach Cox, he's a good coach. B. Mack is also a good coach. There's not really a difference. we just here to work. It's, uh, Mike Bobo being new offensive coordinator, do you see a difference for the, for the wide receivers with him as the coordinator this year as opposed to B. Mack? Oh, yeah. It, and with his new playbook, it's going to be at least two receivers, at least two receivers open, or a tight end, or even the running backs coming out the backfield. Coach has talked a little bit about the explosive plays that we've seen more often so far in camp. Um, is that part of that offense that, that Bobo's running? Oh, yes, sir. We're trying to have a whole lot of them this season. Um, Obviously, after you know Shy Smith coming back, Shy um, obviously a proven receiver, kind of everybody else on the team, a little bit unknown at this point. Just how do, how's that coming together? The, the the receiving room. We're trying to keep everybody straight because when one man down, another man gonna have to step up. So we try to keep everybody. We try to encourage everybody to step up, get in the playbook, and do the right thing on the field. Any of those young receivers kind of catch your eye? Oh yeah, all of them do. Rico Pires, he played the X position with me. I try to keep him straight. He's going to be real good. How much of an advantage is it for you to have to go against J.C. Horn and, and Izzy every day in practice just to get better? Oh, yeah. I love it the, because they both compete, and, I, and I'm here to compete just like them. Um, quarterback battle going on with, with Colin and, and uh, Ryan. For a wide receiver, does it make a difference to you who's throwing the ball? Do they, um, do they throw a different kind of no ball? No, sir. No, sir. They're both great quarterbacks. It don't matter whichever one of them in the backfield. We're just going to try to have a good season with both of them. For you personally, have you set your, any goals for yourself for this season? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm trying to have at least 900 receiving yards and trying to catch at least 90 balls this season. Great. All right. Thanks, David. Yes, Appreciate it.